Hi, I'm Dale Poston. Thank you for watching our videos created here at A1MC.net. Today we want to talk just a bit about CPU specifications or CPU specs. If you want to appraise a computer or uh, determine what the computer's worth, which is very valuable in assisting you in purchasing a computer, then you need to understand about CPU specifications. We're going to make two analogies today because there's not a real good analogy. To, to do this. So we're just going to do the best we can. We're just going to talk about it. I hope you get something out of it. The first thing I want you to understand about a CPU is its job is to process data. And every CPU will probably be pushed to its limit during the life of that CPU. With uh, the operating system constantly doing updates, a new op newer operating system or update to the operating system, there's always updates to your security, your antivirus, your anti-spyware. So, especially with the Windows-based desktops and laptops, there's newer software, there's a new version of the software next year, there's new security updates, there's a bigger security program, there's a, another patch, another service pack. So, your computer, uh, another download, uh, more and more software, more and more software, your computer's like a little pickup truck, and we're just constantly throwing firewood into the back of the pickup truck until... It wants to sink down in the mud and it can't go up the hill and the phone rings to the computer tech and my computer slowed down. Can you help me? And how much is it going to cost? Well, you know, we don't know because we don't know what size pickup truck you have. I've always said I can click on my computer, you know, 60 buttons in 60 seconds and more than likely 60 things are going to happen. If I click a button on your computer and I got have to wait 20, 30 seconds then, you know, it's going to take 20, 30 times longer. So, it all comes down to how strong and how powerful is your processor. And there's three specifications that I want you to remember today about the CPU or the processor. The first one is the clock speed. If I made the analogy that your CPU in your computer was like a train, then the clock speed would have to be how many cars per minute are going uh, by with this train, or how many cars per second, or you know, per unit of time. How many cars per unit of time? That's the clock speed. A lot of people know this is the gigahertz. How many gigahertz do you have? Gigahertz range is usually anywhere from 1.6 gigahertz up to 3.6 gigahertz. That 3.0, 3.2, 3.4 range, even 2.8 is the range that I, I particularly like. I usually run about a 3 over 3.2 with the processors that I build for myself. The second specification I want you to understand about the uh, CPU and your computer is the front side bus or the QPI. This is most often overlooked. The front side bus or the QPI has to do with how much data is transferred by your CPU in one gigahertz. So if we go back to our train analogy, it might be the height of the railroad car. How much data can one car hold? If the gigahertz is how many cars per unit of time are going down the track, then the QPI or the front side bus might be the height of the car. Most computers are still using what we call a front side bus. This is not only a specification of the CPU, but it's also a specification of the motherboard. So, you know, this data is transferred uh, from your hard drive to your RAM, to, through your processor to the RAM memory, back to the processor, to the video card, so in and out of the CPU and, and around on the motherboard, we have front side bus or QPI. With your newer Intel i7 quads, they've gone to calling this specification the QPI. Historically, and with all other computers, it's referred to as the front side bus. The last specification we'll talk about is the number of cores. And that would be like how many trains you have running. So if you had a core two, you've got two train tracks running, uh, instead of one train track running. So cores is extremely important. You can just double your processing power by going to two cores. We were on single core for many years, all the way up through the 386, 486, Pentium 1, Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4. And then we've gone to uh, core 2, and we've got quads. And we're not going to get into the difference. In fact, that quads are still core 2s. We're not, it's not a, that important. Quads more powerful than a core 2, and if you want to look at it like four cores, that's fine. But... Got clock speed, front side bus or QPI, and cores. Now make one more analogy before we close this video. 
if you are shopping in Walmart and, and you get ready to check out and you can't find a cash register and you're wanting to check out, okay, how many cash registers are open to serve you is similar to how many cores the computer is using. How fast or how efficient the person on the cash register is, 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 yeah, and I do this. I go in Walmart, I can't find a line, I see two or three lines, and I start looking at the person running the cash register. Are they, you know, some people are like, let's take this item. Oh, how are you doing today? I really like that sweater. That's really nice. Let's see what we got here. Did you, did you buy that here? Did he? And uh, that's really, really nice. My sister has one like that. You know, and then you have other people running the cash register, and they're, just, they're swiping with one hand, and they're clicking with the other. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Here's your bag. Next person. And you know, they're taking care of business, and they have a fast clock speed. That's like your clock speed. Okay, your clock speed is how efficient the processor can run. 1.6 gigahertz up to 3.6 gigahertz. I like that 3.0 range right in there. Then the last item was your QPI or your front side bus. And that's like the size of your cart, okay? We're all used to a standard size shopping cart. What if you went into Walmart and there wasn't any shopping carts? You either had to get it by hand, the four or five items that you could carry, or you get a little basket and put the basket on your arm and you can get eight or ten items in the basket, or you've got a shopping cart, or, or what if you went in there and had a super size shopping cart that would be a really big front side bus, a really big QPI. So all these things are important. So if you go into store shopping for a computer, a computer, don't be afraid to ask. You know, I need to know the front side bus with the QPI, how many gigahertz this computer, what's the clock speed, and how many cores, and is it a core two or a quad? And those things are important. Write them down, write down your price. Listen, what kind of DVD burner, uh, if it has a camera on board or not, you know, what kind of sound card does it have? Those things are just not nearly as important as it is your CPU. All right, thank you for watching our video here at a1mc.net. I hope you learned something. I hope you got something you can use or remember. Have a great day.